So today I'm gonna be core aerating my backyard as well as the front yard. I have a clay soil, so I am more prone to soil compaction in my yard. I am out here in the backyard a lot playing with my dog. So that's one of my concerns, uh, alleviating compaction using my core aerator. So I've got two cores that are being pulled and you wanna try to core aerate 20 to 40 holes per square foot. I know that sounds pretty difficult, but uh, I tried that in most of my yard and it took a little bit more time, but I tried to do it in an organized fashion and it seemed to go by a little bit quicker, um, if that makes any sense. Now, core aeration is a great way of improving the health of your lawn as well as relieving compaction. It's gonna improve water and nutrient movement in the soil and possibly prevent thatch accumulation. And it's just gonna improve the growing conditions for the turf grass plants and results in just a healthier, more vigorous lawn. All right, that took me probably maybe 45 minutes. Uh, this is about 750 square feet. Now here's what the cores look like. Typically there'll be a little over two inches, maybe some uh, pushing three inches, but uh, you can just crumble these up if you want to. You can remove them if you want to, if you're gonna uh, top dress. Uh, you could keep some if you want to maybe submit a soil sample. So there's a lot of different uses you have for your cores once you aerate. I'm gonna go ahead and aerate the front yard now. Areas are a little bit dry. It's been a while since our last rainstorm. And this area here is newly sodded. I would recommend not core aerating a sodded area if it's less than a year old. Uh, typically, if you try to do that, you will see a little bit of uh, turf movement and it could disturb some of the roots, causing some damage and just issuing more harm than good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and leave all the cores on my lawn. It's fine to do so. You could just let it, nature take its course and it'll just start to break down over time. And once you uh, get a mow in, mulch mow, you can expedite the process as well. But if you just leave those cores on there, they're very beneficial. They're gonna add maybe a little bit of nutrients to your lawn and just uh, it'll just look weird for a little while, but it will go away in time. It is the next day and we had a little bit of rain overnight this morning, about a little over half an inch. So the cores are going to start uh, breaking down eventually. You can see some of them starting to melt a little bit with all the rainfall. This is the front yard. And we're out here in the backyard. You can see all these cores I went pretty crazy here I was trying to get uh, about 20 cores per square foot I'm really happy I timed this just right right before a rainstorm so I was able to get all those nice deep cores pulled and give this lawn some oxygen and then later in the evening it started getting rainfall so it's getting a good soaking. Hopefully we get a little bit more rain, possibly today into tomorrow. And this should help benefit uh, getting that deep, deep soaking of water deep into the uh, ground. 